He said I had a load of talents like perfect pitch and perfect balance and ears that were equal in size. Musical theater is alive and well in Seattle. Case in point is Murder for Two, a co-production between ACT and the Fifth Avenue Theater. And here to talk about the show is one of the stars, Mr. Rich Gray. Yay! Yay. I'm so it's happy you. to be here. I'm so glad you're here. <laughs> now, you've been working and a working actor in Seattle since the late 80s. Yes. Right? And, yes. and like 20, what was it, I think, 24 shows at the Fifth Avenue Theater. Yes, in as that an time. actor. Plus, I was, but when I first started working at the Fifth, I was in the orchestra pit. Really? So I played the P, uh, keyboards in the orchestra pit and I musical directed shows there. But then once David Armstrong came in, yeah. I've been working on stage, which yeah. is great because that's one of my, which that's is what my really main is. love. Yeah, that's your main love. Yeah. Um, yeah, and did you tap into musical theater as a kid? Because there's that great photo of you at the piano with your dad standing <laughs> yes. behind you. Yes, I told my dad you know, when I was six, yeah. I want to play the piano. And so they thought about getting me a little toy piano. Mm -hmm. And I went, no, no, I want a real piano, want like, a one. like the ones the Curtises have down the street. So uh -huh. that picture is like, because they have gotten me the piano and I started taking piano lessons as a young kid. So. Well, it certainly paid off. Yeah, <laughs> thanks. Well, so let's talk about Murder for Two. Now this uh, play got its world premiere in Chicago, I believe it was like 2011. It's been mm -hmm. in really constant production since that time. So give us the basic storyline. The basic story, two guys, we're the band, but uh, one of them plays the detective of this murder, and the other one plays all of the suspects. Which is 13 suspects. Yes, and, and uh, it's a crazy kind of mix of Marx Brothers meets Victor Borga meets Carol Burnett show. That's a that's great combination. <laughs> so, so the guy who's playing of Detective Marcus Moskowitz, and that's Chris... DeStefano. Chris DeStefano, and this is his acting debut, am I correct? In Seattle. In Seattle. He okay. used to perform when he was in, on Long Island. Okay. Uh, in a community theater, mm -hmm. but the big requirement in the show is you've got to be able to play the piano yes. well. So, uh, and he can. He can play really yeah. well, and he's such a charmer, and he's really great in the part. So, you sound a little resentful of your husband, Mrs. Whitney. <laughs> me resentful? Just because he shoved me in the shadows, the second we tied the knot, maybe a skosh. Then why did you throw him a surprise party? Because for years I was planning on singing him this big show stepping toe topping production number. Is this it? No, it's much longer, much louder, and involves a costume. 13 <sighs> characters, that's a lot of right. changes. How did you make each one specific? How do you find these characters? Well, I want the audience to know exactly that who the character is yeah. right away. So I, I found vocal tricks. Some of them are pitched really high. Some of them, some of them have like a little accents. I mean, there's Steph Whitney, who is the, uh, the grad student who's getting her master's degree in criminology and writing her thesis on how to assist in the solving of a small town murder. <laughs> and then there's Barrett Lewis, who is the Russian Valerie, and you know, she's all very sexual and she touches herself a lot. <laughs> and then there's like that, there's Dr. Griff, who's the psychiatrist, and I bring my hands up here every time. So there's a visual, thing that the audience can key into and also a vocal thing. Right. So with two actors just on, uh, on stage, it seems to me like you have to be super in sync and really kind of have each other's back. Yeah, Is that true? Exactly. I think we have you to can't be able fall to, off on anything. I mean, and no you one have else to pass the ball. And to, I mean, we talk about this all the time. I, I've, I've been lucky to do things like the producers and, mm -hmm. and other shows where you're a comic team. Yeah. And all those old comic teams, Abbott and Costello and Laurel and Hardy, they, and George and Gracie, yeah. They had took decades to work on their material and just figure out their timing and know how to read each other and read each other mm -hmm. and and so that we don't have all that time. Mm -hmm. So I I knew we had to start in right away, trust each other, yeah. and also communicate. Mm -hmm. A lot of times the rules in theater are don't give don't give your fellow actors notes. Mm -hmm. But when you're a comedy team, you're not giving the other actor notes. You're working out every comic bit all the bits, together. Right, all the business. You have to talk to each other. Right. You can't just go. No, no, I'm right. not gonna. Right, right. You do your own thing and I'll do my own right. thing. Right. And the audience has been digging it. Digging it. Yeah, it's just selling out. It's, it's like, selling great. Yeah. I mean, it, you know, it is, it is silly. Yeah. Well, so it's kind of, we, we need some silly. I feel like that way too. Mm. And I knew it's one of those shows. We've had a couple people who've said like, said like, well, it's not very deep. And I go, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's not at all. Let's just look at the world. That's deep. <clears throat> Come here right. and be undeep for a little while. I always while. feel like it's like a, a the Busby Berkeley movies mm -hmm. in the in the 30s. Yes, they were popular because it was the depression. Absolutely, it was an so escape. So what we're going, what's going on in politics? You know what we need? Yeah, we need murder for two. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. We need an escape. Absolutely. Exactly. Um, so you get to obviously use all of your talents in in this um, in this production. Is there anything you've learned about yourself? I mean, you're singing, you're playing the piano, you're obviously 
dialogue. Have you learned anything about yourself as a performer new? I've learned that I really love this comedy team thing. Uh -huh. It's really fun. Um, Greg Allen and I get paired up all the time at the fifth mm -hmm. as comedy teams, mainly because I'm a short, squatty guy and mm -hmm. he's tall, lean. You're the Nathan Lane. I'm the Nathan Lane <laughs> to his Nathan Matthew Lane. Broderick. <laughs> Yeah. Someone told me that they said they said you're like the Nathan Lane of Seattle theater, and I go, I'll take okay, it. Okay, I'm take fine. It. That's fine. I'm totally fine. That's fine. <laughs> well, there's no question you are. You are. Well, thank you so much for for dropping by oh, and sure. chatting with us. Um, so, Murder for Two runs now through June 11th at Act in downtown Seattle, and I believe it is selling out or close to selling out. So you want to get your tickets. Thank you so much. Thank you. You are you are a real true uh, gem. Oh, you are. Oh, geez. you. Oh, you. Thanks. Oh, you. <laughs> you.